Hello everybody and welcome back to Tree Lobster Plays. It's me, you dude Tree Lobster. And uh, today we're going back to learn how to be real. Oops. Just a forewarning. I'm running on like little sleep and I watched that Game of Thrones series finale last night. So uh, I I'm going to talk about that. So if you don't want to hear any uh, Game of Thrones spoilers, just uh, turn, off tur turn this off now, watch Game of Thrones, and uh, come back. And then, then we'll, uh, then, then you can watch this without worrying, I guess. Eee! First thing in the morning. Mm. Mm -hmm. Get it up in the sink. There you go. Rather not bounce it off the wall to get it in the sink, but, hey, wash it down. So today, we're going to try to get a bunch of money, and we're going to try to buy some guns. Hold on. I almost forgot this. Uh, I want to know how to set things on fire. Burn! What a little fuck. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna just kill some dudes a whole bunch. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, drive a car. Alright, step one, step one, get your car. Uh, step two, uh, let's see, crash into another car. Uh, just enough to swap some paint. Kill a dude. He's not dead yet. Alright, so we gotta kill a dude. Alright. So we gotta kill a dude. There we go. Do vehicle kills not count as kills? That can't be right. Alright. If I slap this dude though. Hey, hold on. You know, I haven't explored this world much. Hey, it's a swimming pool. Hey. Hey, hey, there we go. How do I set things on fire, dude? There we go. That dude flew far as fuck. Fuck hands. Catch these fuck hands. <laughs> oh, he's fucking me up. Dude, stop. It hurts. There we go. Now the cops are going to be after me. Sweet. Alright, so there's one guide on the internet for this game that I read that actually you know, gave any advice that I could use. We're gonna see how valid it is. And I'm gonna drive us to the prison. I don't know how I feel about being as good at driving in this game as I am currently. It's not like it's good, but I can still, I can still, you know, not fuck my car up all the time. Now, we wait for cops to come this way, because if you kill people, their money will stay on the ground after you get arrested. So what I'm gonna do is try to piss off a bunch of cops Get him out in front of the penitentiary. There we go. And then once they let me out, my ass is gonna pick up all that money off of the ground and go buy guns. Whoop. Do 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 do. There is not a handbrake. I I was using space to see if there was, and there isn't. <laughs> oh, oh, that was awesome. Do more like that. I need money. Fuck. Ow. Stop. No, you stop. Stop. All right, let's see. Piss these dudes off a little more. I want to get three stars because that seems like they really start coming for you then. There we go. Let's go, fuck hands. <laughs> Don't flip the car now. Oh, you stupid dick. So, let's go steal another vehicle. Yeah, back in the truck. Fuck yeah, look at all these asshole cops. Don't flip the truck! Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man of trucks. Doink. Doink. I don't know if the cops will follow you to the penitentiary. Alright, so we're gonna just murder a bunch of them in front of Town Hall then. Yeah, it's looking like it. Yeah, boy. Oh yeah. Bowling for idiots. <laughs> oh no! No, 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 don't do it! Stupid fuck hands! It's a lot of money, I'm gonna be sad if it doesn't actually stay on the ground. Oh fuck! Stop! Come on, fuck boys! Stop! <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money coming out of them. It's gonna be real depressing when I don't get any of it in a couple minutes. 
So yeah, anyway, I thought I was gonna talk about Game of Thrones. Um, uh, what the fuck is wrong with those writers, man? I mean, I, I'm half tempted to write this season just from episode three onwards. The first two episodes were fine, in my opinion, because I figured, you know, all the, all the character interactions they were having there was because we were going to lose a lot of them, but that wasn't the case. Uh, it was just a whole bunch of filler for fucking nothing. Just like Arya and that white fucking horse at the end of the second to last episode, where she's fucking, like, bonding with it and mating with it through her eyeballs. And next time we see her, not only does she not have the fucking horse that she just had, but she's not even out of the fucking city. Why did she even get the horse? What was the fucking point? I mean, I like writing. I write in my free time, but I'm not a professional writer. But even I understand that you don't just do something for no fucking reason and waste everybody's time. It's stupid. And I want to know who the idiot was, who all the idiots were, that read that script who aren't the actors. The actors got a free pass. They're, they're 100% in it for the paycheck, and I guarantee most of them know that, like, you know, you gotta... Gotta fucking do whatever. You're a slave to the writers and the directors and producers and everybody else. You're just you're just the, the middleman between a whole bunch of assholes and the consumers. But everybody who read over that script before it was finalized, and nobody went, mm, hold on a second. I mean, the first the first 15 minutes of this last episode, I think like three whole words were spoken. It, it was paced like it was a mid-season episode and a mid-series season. There was, it, it made no sense for them to go as slowly about it as they did. It, it was just fucking abysmal. And then the, the conclusions for all the characters' stories. Are, are you, well, I, no, let, let's not even get to that first. Let's tackle the first problem of what happened with the, the leader. No, I, I already told you, don't listen to this if you don't want spoilers. So they fucking make Bran King. Bran! Of all people, makes sense because he's physically incapable of bending the knee. So, you know, make him the king, that way he doesn't have to. He, he gets selected by a group of, of people who are like, yeah, totally, this is a good idea, let's just... Now, now, I've got nothing against people who have a physical or mental handicaps at all. But historically, people do when said handicapped person is in a position of leadership. It's seen as a, a curse from the gods, and... It, it, it's, it's seen as a weakness that people can exploit. Oh, fuck. Oh, the car's flipped. Good. Let me get that because I don't want this fucking box truck. But that's only the first problem with Bran. The second one is they're like, you know, he can't have any heirs. You know, King's sons are always bastards. If he can't have any heirs, they, they're like, oh, yeah, the, the, the council will select more people. Bruh. They got an electoral college, but their method of persuasion and lobbying is a knife in the back. And as soon as Bran dies, they're gonna be squabbling over who fucking gets the throne. And you know what that's gonna lead to? That, that's gonna lead to more wars. And as soon as Bran dies, I guarantee you the next person in line is not gonna be like, Yo, you know what? I'm happy with six kingdoms. Let the North remain free. Nah. They're gonna see that shit and be like, Buh, come here. You're mine now. I'm gonna declare war on your ass real quick and take that shit back over. And then we're just back to square fucking, not even square one, we're back to square zero. Where are all these cops at, man? I need more, more of them to spawn so I, oh, they're all fucking tripping over each other. But it's, it's the most ridiculous, I mean, they laughed at my boy Sam for suggesting a democracy. Me too. But they suggested something even worse. I mean, fucking Christ, why? I, who, oh, uh, and then the endings, the character conclusions. Boy, I'm about to whoop somebody's ass. First off, let's, let's talk about our boy John real quick. Being sent back to the wall. The fuck do they need the wall for? The wildlings are chilling with the north. They're not watching against anything anymore. It, it's just a fucking frat house now. That's all it is. And he's just chilling with his bros. That's all that's going on. They're, they're not doing nothing else. And that fucking... I was so pissed off by that fucking... Uh, spurt of grass growing in the fucking... Uh, on the other side of the wall. Because, like... Dude, winter's here. Not the metaphorical death winter, the real actual years long, people are gonna fucking freeze to death and everyone's gonna starve if it doesn't end within the decade winter. The fuck is some grass deciding to sprout them for? And I don't wanna give the, the writers credit for some bullshit metaphor. If it's a metaphor, it's stupid. Stupid. Let me, let me say this before I go any further. I binged all Game of Thrones over the summer before the season started up. 
So, I didn't dedicate however many years of my life to this fucking thing. This is just me being pissed off as somebody who likes a good story and likes good writing. This isn't me being pissed off as someone who's been following this for a damn near fucking decade of my life. I cannot imagine what it's like to be some of those people. It's bullshit to do you as dirty as they did. They did you people dirtier than they did the Ice King. Or the, the Night King. Whatever the fuck. But then, Arya. Arya's ending is the most frustrating. She's been on a boat like a whole three times. You're gonna tell me that that bitch is like, mm, you know what, I'm gonna go sailing. No! She's not gonna go- People have been sailing for generations. What the fuck does she think she's gonna do? Find what's the most? No! She's gonna fucking die in a storm somewhere, and that's it. That'll be the end of her fucking story. I mean, at the very least, at the very least, she should be sticking around to protect her brother, who is a king with a big target on his crippled back. Why would you leave him vulnerable? You are quite possibly one of the most dangerous people in all of Westeros. And you're just going to be like, my brother's got it. He's got it. He's just surrounded by cutthroats and people who have been hired to kill other people and shit. You know, whatever. And speaking of, that fucking council scene where... Bran comes in and goes, oh, what's the news on the dragon? And they go, oh, we don't know. And he goes, well, okay, I'll go look for it myself then. Bro, you could have done that the whole time. Why are you asking these people? The fuck is wrong with you, man? I have to go now. Boy, you f fucking piece of shit. It's, oh, man. And like I said, I don't blame the actors. I don't. I've, I've seen the videos about how they're fucking as disappointed as any of us are with this last fucking season. Some of those reactions that the actors are giving are just 100% you can tell they hate that they were part of that ending. They hate that it went the way it did. Right, so there's, there's two things that come from this. One, the fuck with all the spin-offs. They really think they're going to get a, a group, a, any any significant amount of followers for spin-offs after doing everybody like they did with this season, or this series finale. Excuse me, I have burps. Nope. Even if it's with different writers, with a different everything. They, they've lost good faith based on how this, what could have been the most epic fucking series finale in the history of television and they flop. They flop like Bran after being thrown out a fucking window. So then you know our boy Martin's sitting there with his fingertips clacking together like he's some fucking Mr. Burns thinking, mm, you know what, I'm gonna finish those books now and when I'm done writing them I'm gonna be like, okay so this is how the story was really supposed to go and he's gonna sell mad books. I'm good on him for, you know, not writing a finish to a story and then letting people shit all over it. And I hope he does. I hope he finishes the series. I really do. Just so people can actually get the good story that they want from the universe. Because if, if he came out with a book, I would buy that. But, you know, life goes on. I think we're about ready to, to get caught by the cops here. So let's, let's see if we can't splatter more dudes real quick. Yeah, that's a lot of money in the street. Let uh, let, let's go punch some dudes. Stop. 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 Fuck. Fuck. Hands Stop. up. Fuck. Hands up. Hands up. Smack. Stop. Smack. Stop. And I do, I do believe that Daenerys was always going to be a villain. She had it. It was building up very well. If they had another season, then they could have paced it very well. But they just de they decided to wrap it up with this one. Just figured, you know, yeah, we can do it. We can do it in the, the, with this season. This is going to be good. We can wrap this whole thing up and not make everything feel rushed. Bro, when when Daenerys took that turn and started burning up everything at King's Landing, it was so unnatural and forced. Is this is this grass in the shape of a dick? People flip. Things happen, and small things can set people off, yes. But it should have happened when her girl was killed, and not a week later, when a town is surrendered, and everybody's like, yo, we're done, we're done fighting, please don't hurt us anymore. Yeah, some money's still on the ground. Oh, we're gonna be so rich, dudes. See, here's, here's what I would've liked to happen. And here's, here's my little fan fiction universe in my own head, right? Season... What is it, eight? Season 8, Episodes 1 and 2, stay the same. Let the characters interact. I, th I thought it was good. A lot of it felt a little authentic. 
Even if there was a fucking coffee cup in a scene. I don't care, you know, it is a show, some things happen. I mean, I don't see how everybody on a set misses a fucking coffee cup. But that just goes to show nobody really gave a shit anymore. That, that, that. Anyway, I digress. What I would have liked to see happen is during the Battle of Winterfell, uh, first off, Ghost dies in the charge. And make that a depressing ass scene in the beginning of the next episode. I would have figured that, uh, our wildling dude, uh, fuck, I'm forgetting his name, uh, Gingerbeard. I would have liked to see him sacrifice himself for Brienne. That would have that would have been interesting because first off, he's a wildling and she's a knight, a lady knight of Westeros. That would have been a great gesture, just all around. I would have liked to see after that. I mean, they, they say they lost half their people for, with their armies, with uh, with Daenerys's armies and everything. That is massive. You lose half your army, you're done. There's no coming back from that when you're an invading force, at all. And that's what she was, she was an invading force from the east. But then going, going to King's Landing, I mean, yeah, yeah, alright, so she had to make her turn at some point. Having her friend get her head chopped off, Miss and Day or whatever her name was, yeah, that, that's traumatic, that's traumatic to have happen to you. On top of everything else. But she shouldn't have flipped when she did as she did. I felt that, that was just too forced. What I would have liked to see is she she gets a little mad, and then she's fighting, and then maybe, I don't know, her last dragon dies. Now the dragon queen, dragon mother, whatever, mother of dragons, is without dragons. She's lost literally all of her children. That would be traumatic as fuck for anybody. And I could see that being the final thing to, you know, flip somebody. Obviously that means she doesn't burn the fucking city to the ground with a dragon, but she's got the Dothraki, she's got the Unsullied, and she's got all the Northmen and everybody who just see the fight going on and go, I guess this must be what we're doing, because that's apparently what happened. Fucking stupid. It's only $300. Well, this is beautiful. Alright, so you can't get any more bullets than what you got on you when you buy a thing. Interesting. So, I feel like how the show should have ended was, yes, Daenerys takes the, the throne. And she does it by blood. Blood and steel. And thinking she's righteous, but having... The North be its rebellious ass self, as always. She goes, hey, I'm not gonna put up with this, because I know that I can't have a kingdom rebelling against me, so I'm just gonna burn the whole fucking North. So she goes to war with the North, and its ass gets beat. And then it's just, it, it, it just ends with Daenerys sitting on the Iron Throne, and the world falling apart around her, but she feels like she's in the right. And I feel like that would give a great message of, you know, Nothing's changed. It's just the same, the same shit under a different name. Under the same name as before the different name. What? This shotgun's fucking brutal. That's a lot of cops. Fuck. This is police. This is police. Fuck. Fuck. This is police. Fuck. This is police. Fuck. Stop. This is police. Stop. Why does this revolver hold seven rounds? This is police. This is police. I want to be friends. This is police. This is police. Let me pick up more money. Fuck. This is police. Hands up. Fuck. Hands up. Hands up. Fuck. Hands up. Fuck. Hands up. Fuck. I want to set Hands things up. on fire. Cops, how do I set things on fire? Just kill me. Just Hands kidding, up. I wanted to kill you first. Oh. I guess if you have any comments about Game of Thrones, leave them below, because I definitely want to hear what people's opinions are about it. I love the reviews for this game. People saying that they love it. Like, this is by no means a good game at all. It's fun. It's fun for, you know, a few minutes. I'm gonna get me a bird. I'm gonna finally get me a bird. Fucking birds. That there are a good few people who say, you know, this game's good, but you know, it'd be—I uh, don't know how to equip weapons and shit. 
Dude, you realize that equipping things is the whole- all, all, all you can do? What are people doing in this game if they're not equipping weapons or equipping items? I mean, all you can do is- all you can do is shoot people, piss and fart. I'd like to be able to buy some ice cream. How far does the microwave go up? Only to five minutes. Perfect. It's gonna be it, guys. We're making our last stand. This is police. Where'd you come from? Fuck. Fuck. Hey. Hey. Back off. Fuck hands. Fuck, Fuck shot. <laughs> hey look, a swing. Stop. Can I use it? Can I sit in the swing? Hands up. Stop. Hands up. Fuck. Can't sit in it, it looks like. But it sure does oh, <laughs> it sure does swing. Hands up. Stop. Or are they gonna have to climb up the stairs to get to me? Stop. Stop. Oh no, this is bad for them. Oh, this is, this is like holding up in a gas station in GTA. Oh, except with funnier physics. And they don't have guns, which makes it so much easier. Also, their own bodies block them. Oh, this is just gonna be bad. Oh my god. It's gonna just get worse until somebody despawns. Oh, there's just so many of them. Oh, I should have saved my grenade. Oh, they're flopping around out there. Stop. Yeah, Stop. buddies. Oh, here they come. Say hello to my big ass friend. I'm just mean. Hands up. It's about to get so much meaner. Stop. This is police. Hands up. Fuck. 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 Stop. Hands up. Stop. Fuck. This is police. This is police. Stop. This is police. Fuck. Stop. This is police. Hmm. This is I'm having an issue stabbing. Stop. Not quite able Stop. to get a stab on the steps. This Stop. is police. Hands up. Broken game. Fuck. This is That's the Fuck. only broken thing about this game, also, definitely. This is Ain't none of that shit. Fuck. Hands up. This is police. Yeah, this the knife does not like working on steps. This is police. This is police. Hands up. Fuck. Hands up. Hands up. Stop. <laughs> Stop. This is police. This is police. This is police. Oh, someone hit me. Stop. It's not fair. This Hands is police. police. I have bullets. This is police. Hands up. This is police. Hands up. Oh, they're killing each other. Fuck. This is police. Fuck. Fuck. Hands Give me that money. Fuck. Oh, Stop. one of them's fighting. Fighting them off for Fuck. me. Hands up. This is police. Hey, dude. Stop. Fuck. Stop. Hands up. Oh, there we go. I think that's it for how to be a dude, guys. Thanks for sticking around with me through it. This one's definitely going to be a little bit shorter. Oh, yeah, I think all that murder tuckered me out. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I appreciate it once again. You all have a good one.